Right now at noon, as the first funerals are held for the victims of Saturday's synagogue shooting, President Trump will head to Pittsburgh today. The First Lady will also be along for the visit. Good afternoon, I'm Rahel Solomon. And I'm Jim Donovan. Correspondent Hillary Lane reports on the latest from Pittsburgh. The city of Pittsburgh began saying goodbye Tuesday to the lives lost in the Tree of Life synagogue shooting. Members of the Pittsburgh Steelers were among the mourners at the funeral for brothers David and Cecil Rosenthal. Also being buried today, Dr. Jerry Rabinowitz. We will honor them in some way that distinguishes them to get beyond this atrocious act. President Trump and the First Lady travel to Pittsburgh today to pay their respects to the 11 victims and visit the injured first responders. But some, including Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto, are concerned a presidential visit is too soon. The last thing I want to see is while these families are burying those that they lost, that there are protests and streets being closed and other things that are taking away from the most important thing that we can do which is honoring the dead. The remaining eight victims will be buried in the next few days. It's tradition for Jews to be buried as soon as possible, but because of the investigation, the families had to wait several days. Suspected gunman Robert Bowers was in a wheelchair during his brief court appearance Monday. He faces numerous charges, including federal hate crimes, which could carry the death penalty. Hillary Lane, CBS.